Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do an AC compressor on the 2007 Nissan 350Z. Uh, here's Colin, he's going to do all the work. Um, and uh, we have already diagnosed this. Um, I just made a video, I'll probably post it real short on, on just what we did to test it. Um, he said after over a few days, it was just kind of sputtering out and then it it, uh, it finally quit we thought it was maybe low on uh, refrigerant but we went ahead and and we hooked the gauges up and it's it's good it's got plenty of refrigerant in it uh, so we went ahead we hooked a jumper wire to the um, uh, to the hot uh, power for the clutch and it is getting power so it should be engaging the clutch and uh, so we know that the clutch is probably bad um, and it's, it was just easier to buy a whole compressor it was like 250 bucks or something like that uh, from Amazon so uh, couldn't even actually find the, the clutch itself so the whole compressor and clutch is one unit um, I think I've seen others take this out from the bottom but looking here I think we have enough room to move this um, coolant line out of the way it's only a few bolts um, and and the lines so I think we can get it out of here so we're gonna try to pull it right up from the top so uh, the biggest thing that we need to do first is evacuate the system so we're gonna go ahead and hook up this uh, evacuator so I've got the evacuator and I've got a tank here I've already pulled vacuum on the tank so uh, I'm going to I'm gonna plug it in and I'm, I'm not gonna show you that there's plenty of videos on hooking up the, the this but once I've evacuated and we've got a um, we've got all the refrigerant up because I want to save the refrigerant then we'll come back and we'll start taking this thing apart and we'll get you guys in here and we'll show you the steps just you know taking the belt off and then the hoses and the um, and the bolts and then hopefully we can pull it right up and out of here so yeah we're gonna get to uh, pumping it down and then we'll be, we'll be right back all right we're back the system is drained um, let me go ahead and back these off it only took us what five minutes well five or ten minutes to get it all drained into there the trick was um, I had to pull the valve stem out of these yellow lines I didn't want to evacuate until I did that but now I did that and it seemed fine so the first thing he's gonna do is pull the belt the belt tensioner is down there and I think the best way is to go from this way because it's got to go like that so like tilted towards the passenger side of the car so, you think you can get it down in there? Yeah. Well, you, you, you're going to want to come from right here. You see what I mean? And then... So, you could use a socket. It looks like a half inch, but this this tool is really good for this. It's right down here. Yep. Yeah, so down here on the tensioner, it's hard to see. Um, there's actually two little holes that could line up down here. Um, but I just couldn't even get my hand down in there to put the like a Allen key through it So it's actually resting on the hose clamp here, but as he pulled it. I just took the hose the belt off So I'd say go take that line off first Start twisting There you go now the next one I would say take this, give me that, put the 12 on the lo on that long extension. And then I don't know if you can see that bolt. Come over here. Mm -hmm. Come over here, stand over there. See that bolt down that hole right there? See it? Oh yeah, that one. Yep. yep. Get on, see if you can get on there and pull it off there. Is that in reverse? Yep, yep it's in reverse. Just hit go ahead. There you go. That's it. Now just, I'll switch, switch again. Now just go ahead and, and pull those lines free. Oh, cool. Yep, just pull the lines free there. Oh. Get a little bit left in there, not much. Uh, just tug it out of the way. Or yep. Up or? Uh, probably yeah. down. Just kind of leave it, yeah. Let's get yellow. Oh, no. Yeah, it's die, so you can. There you go. Now, yeah, now let's take the, so you want to try this, if 
you can get and the, get the back one first so, so here's the here is the replacement it does have a little bit of a different plug here but pretty similar uh, and then so it, this is the power and it actually has the ground built and the other one uses the body as ground but two bolts top and bottom and then one bolt back in back in the back here so he's going to work on trying to get that bolt out first and then just before we set it in we'll take these two plugs out and then we'll get it we'll get it put put in there and this should come with pre preloaded with oil the trick is to loosen them up with a ratchet first I mean I guess if I had a a Milwaukee and not a Walmart special which is a good ratchet by the way it's like 30 bucks or 40 bucks it's, it's a killer ratchet Is that good enough for doing it? Should be good enough for the ratchet now. Uh. Oh, there it is. Looks like you try to go ahead, try to fish it out of there now. What? Make sure that that other cable is not hooked to it. Is that other wire hooked to it? Use this tool. Pop it out of there. Yep, get it be right now. Let's see if you can fish it. If not, you have to go with the front of it first. Yeah, you might have to like twist it and turn it once you get down in there, but you're gonna have to twist the whole thing. I'm I'm thinking the whole thing's gonna have to go that way because those pipes on top are like right under that bracket. Oops, the Yep, now twist, yeah, now move those hoses to, towards the driver's seat a little bit more. Maybe we should take that bracket off of there. Yeah. I think we can still get it though. Uh, can you move the light on it? Let me see if I can move it around. You want to give it a try from here? Yeah. All right, I finally got it uh, off camera. A little, just a little bit, but uh, we just had a, it, it came right out um, a little tight here. This bracket goes, there's a 10 millimeter bolt, but it looks like it's a, like an oil cooler um, lines going to it. So I didn't want to take the whole oil cooler. I guess you could. But that it's kind of weird that bracket. It's just a piece of metal. It's a little piece of metal to hold on. This uh, just a little piece of metal to hold this wire on. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. Uh, we'll um, take those plugs off of this one and see if we can't lower it down in there. So we pull these plugs out and. Uh, well these caps but there's still these little rubber plugs we're going to leave these rubber plugs in there until so it doesn't leak out the oil refrigerant is supposed to come with what it is missing though are the studs and we're going to pull these studs out here i've got a trick and i'll show you here in a second and we'll pull those studs out it's one of my favorite tools this is my metric stud puller set uh matco metric stud puller set um they've got these here's the bigger one you can see these cams got cams inside and they actually lock down on these and they'll pull them right out so uh, drops right down on the bolt like that go ahead and put the socket on there and just loosen it up it's 
accelerators to it. Won't even damage the, the bolts. Should be able to pull that off of there. Yeah. You know, twist it right out. And uh, no damage at all to that to that stud. So, yep. We'll switch these over, and then we'll drop it back down. All right. He's gonna snake it on down there. Uh, is this orientation? Yep. Basically like that. Just watch that new ca cable since it's like bigger for no reason. It's really that bracket and that valve body are just a pain in the butt together. If you need me to get it again, let me know. Probably. All right, here, I'll get it down in there. Let's see if we can keep, the, keep the light on it. Yeah, the trick was pushing it against the, the like that, against the hose. Yeah, you just want to push, just, just don't, don't be. it look easy. Not that easy. See that cable almost ripped off on us. Now let's make sure these hoses are out of their way. Do you want me to start the bolts or you got it? Uh, I'll start them. At least the top one. You can get, get it in place. Uh, I don't know about the back one, but the front two, yeah. yeah well, oh, they'll, they'll be, once you get one in, the, the other three will go easy. So yeah. you'll get those three bolts in. Uh, you just It's just juggling that compressor. So. All right, we'll finish putting this together, and then we'll be all set. Oh, again, we'll shit those. We'll pull those rubber plugs out with some pliers once it's up in there. Make sure the we don't lose any of the oil, and then we'll plug it in. We'll put the belt on, or we'll put the hoses on. Belt on. That's it. We did have to chase the threads on those studs just to make sure they were just not not good. So chase just to chase the threads. Um, yeah. Now we'll get the get the compressor in there. All right. All right, I think we skipped ahead a little bit on you, but that's all right. Um, really, we went down there. Um, this, what this Amazon kit did not come with was new O-rings, and those lines just, they, it, they felt super sloppy and loose. It just didn't feel like they would, maybe they would have sealed, but I don't know. So we went, just quick trip to O'Reilly's and got the uh, AC, some AC O-rings, swapped them both out so it's got new O-rings, and they felt, uh, it's still not like, I mean, it doesn't have to be super tight, uh, but it was way better than what what we had. I tried a, a fuel um, uh, a fuel injector O-ring, and it felt better than the one that was on there, but but not like it should. But now they feel good. Belt went by, back on really easily. Um, I don't know if you can see the how I had to zip tie um, the lines up, but yeah, that was it. Or the, the the wire up. That's it. Those lines went on really easy. Two bolts just right back in, like we put like we took it out. So this was simple uh with simple tools you could do this in a couple hours if you don't have uh, obviously what's not simple are the gauges you do want to um you know have somebody professionally evacuate it if you're not already leaked out um but then if you if you are leaked out you do need gauges and you're going to need a vacuum pump so we went ahead and, and pulled a vacuum on it and it is holding vacuum at almost uh almost 30 psi um so we're we are looking pretty good i think we're going to go ahead and fill it back up with what it had start her up and see if we can get uh, we can get the AC to come on so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do that so I'll um, flip the key take the canister flip it over upside down and then run the run the hose uh, hose through it and see if that gives us what we need so let's do it go ahead and start it compressor there not moving Damn, there it goes. All right, you can turn it off. So, great success. The uh, the old air compressor was bad. Uh, we had a, a, a hiccup there for a minute or two because it wasn't taking the uh, refrigerant. And then the, the low side fitting on my gauge set is just messed up. So, 
I think I had to switch it over with my other one. Uh, the other one is weird because it doesn't like to, the yellow line has a problem, but the blue, whatever. It, it worked. As soon as we, we, we pumped it uh, with the, the little aerosol can that we had bought, and it immediately kicked on, now he's got cold air. So he's been three or four days with no AC. Now he's got some kicking AC, a new air uh, pump. He'll be 20 in a few days, so this is his birthday present. Um, and we did it together. We'll make a video. Um, for you guys to see how simple it was and on this 2007 uh, Nissan 350Z you don't need a hoist you don't need a jack you don't need jack stands you don't need to take off anything on the bottom no steering system no steering components no steering lines no coolant hoses you can snake it out of the top um, that little bracket looks like you can pull it up but that bracket oddly is attached to look what looks like it could be oil oil cooler lines you don't have to take it apart you can still sneak it through the little hole with that so yeah it comes out the top right here so um yeah hopefully you liked the video hopefully it helped um see how quick and easy this is and uh hopefully i can edit this and make it look like something that's uh yeah, worth watching but uh yeah thanks again guys don't forget to like and subscribe and uh yeah more content on cars i'm sure coming up